If someone were to ask you which country in the world has the highest currency exchange rate, your first thought might run to economic powerhouses such as Luxembourg, Ireland, Switzerland, Norway, or even the United States. And your thinking would make sense. These countries, after all, are among the wealthiest in the world, having some of the highest global GDPs. But in fact, none of the countries mentioned here have the world's strongest currency. That title goes to Kuwait. In 2007, their currency rose as the top currency in the world. And as of 2023, their currency continues to remain the highest currency and is estimated to be worth at least $3.24 per a single Kuwaiti dinar. The country's economy primarily relies on oil exports, as it has one of the world's largest reserves, with almost 80% of their government's revenue being dependent on petroleum-based products. In fact, in 2022, their GDP was valued at an impressive $184 billion. But as impressive as these figures are, their GDP is not even in the global top 10, or top 20, when compared to the rest of the world. Kuwait only ranks at the number 36 spot. But this begs the question, why isn't Kuwait the richest country in the world, or at least one of the richest countries, despite having the strongest currency globally? Why is their GDP only ranked 36th in the world? In fact, its neighbors from the Persian Gulf like Qatar, UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Bahrain are doing better than Kuwait, ranked 4th, 6th, 23rd, and 27th by their GDP respectively. So what exactly is happening in Kuwait? What's causing such a discrepancy between their currency and their GDP? Will Kuwait's GDP eventually catch up to its neighbors? And is there anything that Kuwait can do to fix this? Or is the world's priciest currency hiding a not-so-shiny economic reality? Join us as we unravel the layers. This is the truth behind the discrepancy of why Kuwait is not the world's richest country, despite having the number one currency in the world. Stay tuned until the end to find out what the shocking truth is. So, just how is Kuwait able to consistently maintain the strongest currency? Well, we have to first understand that there are three types of foreign exchanges. The first is fixed or pegged exchange. The second is flexible exchange. And the third is floating exchange. Exchange rates are based on the supply and demand in the foreign exchange market. This means that prices change based on how much investors like or dislike a particular currency based on several factors like GDP, current money in circulation, import, export, and even government expenditure, and even a country's unemployment rate. The floating exchange rate, for example, is linked to a country's market activity, so it's dependent on each of the items just mentioned. In fact, the floating exchange rate is used by the vast majority in the world. So, despite Kuwait having the world's strongest currency, does this mean that its currency is the most sought after in the world? Well, it's not 100% true. And this is because Kuwait is one of the countries that uses the pegged exchange rate system. This means that the strength of Kuwait's currency is linked or pegged to the strength of another country's currency and its performance. For example, we can create an imaginary currency right now and say that it's valued at 3 US dollars. And while the imaginary currency might fluctuate depending on the US dollar, it won't change the fact that the imaginary currency will always be equivalent to 3 US dollars. But this isn't the only reason why Kuwait's currency is so strong. In fact, for Kuwait's currency to gain validity, people have to actually buy goods and services from Kuwait along with recognizing the value of the currency in the market. So, how exactly did Kuwait get its validity? Well, at this point, you might have guessed it correctly, and this is because of Kuwait's massive oil reserves. This makes it possible for Kuwait to have consistent exports, and thus, investors are more confident about Kuwait's currency and potential. In 2003, Kuwait pegged their currency to the US dollar, with 3 Kuwaiti dinar equivalent to 1 US dollar. 
But because of the housing crisis that happened globally, they later pegged their dinar to a number of different and undisclosed currency baskets to minimize fluctuation. But this doesn't mean anything. Since their currency exchange rate is pegged, Kuwait being the number one globally has nothing to do with the strength of their economy. As a comparative example, let's take the South Korean won. One US dollar is equivalent to over 1,200 won, but this doesn't necessarily mean that South Korea's economy is weak. In fact, their economy is the exact opposite. South Korea has one of the world's strongest economies and currently ranks at number 13 in the world for GDP, significantly higher than Kuwait. At this point, we've already determined the reason behind Kuwait's high exchange rate, but this still doesn't explain the fact that they're only ranked number 36 in terms of GDP, which is way lower compared to neighboring countries along the Persian Gulf especially for a country having such massive oil reserves, ranked number six in the world and producing over 101 billion barrels. So then why isn't their GDP higher? Let me explain. While Kuwait is showing great potential and consistency for having the highest currency exchange rate since 2007, their GDP is saying otherwise. In fact, there are several reasons why their GDP is much lower compared to neighboring countries such as Qatar, UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Bahrain. This is the dark side of Kuwait. In January 2023, Kuwait's government resigned three months just after they were sworn in due to conflicts with lawmakers. You might be wondering if a government can actually resign. And the truth is that, well, yes it can. And this has been the case in Kuwait. In fact, this is the country's sixth government in just three years. So it's no wonder that despite having such huge oil reserves, that public services like the health and education sector have been on a downward spiral, especially when compared to its neighbors along the Persian Gulf. This standstill between the Kuwaiti government and its lawmakers have made it near impossible for the country to embrace and implement reforms to diversify the economy. And this is resulting in a much bigger problem. Repeated budget cuts and low foreign investments. Their dysfunctional government has made it possible for its neighbors, the UAE, Saudi Arabia and Qatar, to successfully transform their respective desert states into sleek and modern metropolises largely thanks to how they manage their oil reserves and foreign investment and how their government is doing much better, all while leaving Kuwait behind. But more than just their political issue, Kuwait is showing telltale signs of political stagnation. You see, while it's no secret that Kuwait is indeed a rich country due to their oil reserves, if there are no reforms to improve services and governance in the country, they will not be able to maximize their full potential. The GDP, or gross domestic product, is the total monetary or market value of all the finished goods and services which are produced within a country's borders, measured in a specific time period, usually annually. A country's GDP serves as a general measure of overall domestic production and is used as a general measure of a given country's economic health. Kuwait's reality as a nation is one of the things that never remained constant. In fact, they faced numerous struggles such as the Iraq invasion in 1990, and this has greatly impacted their economy. But while they managed to make smart decisions that made it possible for them to have the highest currency valuation since 2007, it does not change the dark reality that Kuwait is economically weaker compared to its neighboring countries who have significantly weaker currencies. In fact, one of Kuwait's neighboring countries, Bahrain, holds the title of second most powerful currency in the world, and their GDP ranks the 23rd highest globally. So, while Kuwait has great potential, the country's government is plagued with too much conflict for the oil-rich country to fully grow into its capabilities. In the present, Kuwait is able to manage its economy due to the high price and demand of oil. But they are just as vulnerable to price changes and market conditions in the oil sector. Especially since approximately 90% of their revenue is thanks to their rich oil reserves. Kuwait needs to meaningfully start with the diversification of its economy and fiscal position away from oil. 
And while there are reforms being made to its laws, like the public debt law initiative from the International Monetary Fund, there still remains skepticism about the direction the country is heading into. After all, with the complex and conflicting government system, the country is still as vulnerable to threats both inside and out. Kuwait needs reforms with regards to the constitution, the education system, economy, as well as introducing measures to curb corruption. So while there is something that Kuwait can do to close the discrepancy between its high currency valuation and low GDP, there are still a lot of hurdles that the oil-rich country has to clear before growing into its full potential. But will Kuwait be able to solve its issues with its current resources? Or will it continue to lag behind its neighbors? Will they continue to reign as the country with the highest currency valuation? Or will Bahrain finally take Kuwait's place? Let us know what you think in the comments. We really hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Please do not hesitate to like, share and subscribe to stay tuned for more captivating economic narratives. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video.